How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, today was my very first ever, ever, ever attending a Lego release day at my Lego store. And I wanted to do this here to share my experience, wanted to share how it kind of went down because if you've never done a Lego release day experience, well, I just wanted to, you know, share this with you so that you guys had a good idea. Now, this was my experience. It was a very good experience. I'm not saying that the next time that I be a part of a Lego release day experience, it's going to be great. And I figure I just obviously as i said probably for the second or third time i'm going to share this now my store for me i don't know how far away i don't know how far away it is for some of you you know for your lego store but my lego store is roughly about an hour to 45 minutes give or take the, tr the kind of traffic that i may come across and i got to my lego store which on sundays it it opens at 11. And when I got to the mall, I was, I, I was, I got, I was able to get into the mall. It was, I got at my Lego store at 9.45, my time. <clears throat> I was able to get in. And as soon as I walked around the corner of the, of where the Lego store is, I looked to see where the, where the store was. And there was about, maybe about three to four people. And I got to say, I was a little shocked, but yet, in, in all due fairness, I was kind of like, in a very funny way, kind of comparing something like this to like a midnight release for a game, which I'd done my fair share of those, and there's just a, there's just a string of people online waiting for, a, waiting for that game to come out at midnight, but yet, every single person that stands in line for that game is guaranteed for them. And I got to say, when I went to this Lego release day, I was nervous and worried that I wasn't going to be able to get what I wanted to get, which was this right here, the, 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 the Legend of Zelda Deku Tree set. And I got there and I kind of walked past the crowd and I, I had to go to the bathroom and I'm, and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to stand in there right away. I, I, I got to pee. And then... I obviously when I was done with, with that, I went back and I went up to the group and I was like, so uh, what are we here for? And uh, maybe like three out of four of them said, uh, you know, Zelda, 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 you know, Deku Tree, whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go, I, I'm here for the same thing, you know. So I got talking, so I'm like, so where does this line start? And one elder, one elderly woman, she was like, well, I'm the end of the line. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I stood right there. Well, funny enough, there was a Lego store employee who's, who's actually, who actually worked at that store. Who, and fortunately enough for her, she had the day off. She was like, she goes, guys, actually the end of the line is here. So she goes, yeah, we have some kind of weird agitation with the Builder Bear store for for God knows whatever reason, who cares? So we all just, we didn't care, we just moved. We moved and, you know, lucky enough for me in a way, I was standing there and I actually got talking, made conversation with, you know, the elderly woman and the, the, the Lego store employee who had that day off. You know, you know, we were talking about different things and different whatever. And uh, I, I asked, I asked the, the Lego store employee, I go, so what is it, you know, usually like? Is it usually like this? Is it, is it not so busy, busy? She goes, well, she goes, it really depends, you know, on the release day, what sets are coming out, you know, what are, what are people looking for? She goes, you know, depending on the severity of it, you know, they may come out and kind of give you like a ticket or something like that so that when you go into the store, you just hand them that ticket and you just buy it you know you can just you know it's yours it's pretty much you know first come first serve you know we're very fair here and I'm like oh okay cool 
So about 10.30 or 10.45 before the store opened, because the store opened at 11 o'clock, of course, one of the store employees comes out with a pad and a pen, comes out, all right, what's your name? John Doe. Okay, what are you here for? Okay, Deco Tree. Okay, Deco Tree. And, and she just walked down the line. She Eventually, she came to me. She goes, "Who are you? what's your name? Michael. What are you here for? Zelda. Okay, Deco Tree. Okay, cool. And, and she just worked her way down. And she actually, when she got to the Lego store employee, she goes, okay, she goes, we're already aware that obviously you have stuff pretty much, you know, piled right there but anything else you wanted to add to it she goes no i'm all set and she kind of walked down you know she went down the line and then she she made her way back into the store and and she came back out and very quickly i hear something about this you know the cmf series which i knew which was the the D, &D series you know i'm like i go i go hold up a second i go What's this D and D thing? The C, you know, the the CMF. I'm like, what's going on here? What what is that? She goes, she goes. So the the CMF series that practically came out today. I know. If you go to Walmart, Target, any other stores, they they already have them out on the shelf. She goes, but we, which this is it right here. And after I get this out, when I get this video out, I'm gonna do a do a video on this showcasing them all she, she goes we take every box scan them and make sure to put every single individual minifigure each each single one of the whole series in one bag so you so that you don't have to go to a store or anything like that and possibly get skunked or you know, you got to try to look at every number because I know some of you, especially when they're in the bag, you you know, you know, you felt them like you felt them, you know, for for the little things that came with them. And, and now, now I know they're in boxes, and I, and I know some of you are looking at numbers and, and trying to scan them and, and weigh them to see if they're different. This, they already did all that heavy work for you, and now I'm now you're pretty much guaranteed if you go in on a Lego release day and there's a CMF series coming out, you're guaranteed this. You're guaranteed to get 12 straight, except for getting skunked of the whole CMF series. So, so I thought that was pretty cool. So if you're someone that's more serious about the minifigures, I say do that. But overall, I wanted to share my experience of doing this. Uh, in the comments down below, I don't know if I already said this, but share your experience at a Lego release date. Was it great? Was it terrible? Was it meh? Was it okay? Was it... Happy, crazy, chaos. I thought I had to fight tooth and nail and, and throw some elbows to get this up. But no, I, you know, they, they, they definitely had a system down that worked great for me, you know. So that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, with that, I'm out of here. So see ya.